What's up everyone, Chrissy Light here, finally back. About to bring you a video on Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the official reveal trailer. Actual in-game footage. I will, I'll believe it when I see it. I'm super skeptical about this game that I'm about to watch. Um, I had some friends did message me about it, that it came out like a week ago. And uh, their thoughts, I didn't see the trailer. I, I thought it was going to be a normal Call of Duty game. You know, same old, same old. It's been like 10 years. So, you know, I, I was probably going to skip this Call of Duty because I bought the last year's Call of Duty. I normally kind of like skip every year. Uh, but Modern Warfare, the title itself is drawing me in because my favorite Call of Duty was Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare. So I'm wondering what the heck is going on. Is this just, they're just renaming it Modern Warfare and it, it is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4? Or are they just going back in time? And I feel I feel like they Call of Duty isn't a franchise. I would go back in time and redo Modern Warfare. Like it would be the same game, and they just released the remastered version. I just I just don't understand. So I I don't know what's about to happen. Actual in-game footage. So I'm thinking it's gonna be cinematics, no actual gameplay or multiplayer being shown. But uh, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm excited, but I really wanted to like beat my expectations and want me to buy this game. And we'll get more details next week. Next week or two, whenever E3 comes out, about what's to come in this. There's a fine line between right and wrong. Pfft, I didn't see that guy at all. And somewhere in the shadows. <laughs> they coming out the shadows. They send us in to find them. Watch your six actual. Target is in the main house. You have executed. Bravo 6. Going dark. Start clear! What is going on? October 25th. Who's your team? Got some old comrades. He said old comrades? Got some old comrades. Who's your team? Got some old comrades. Spanish! <laughs> it got me. Uh, I think it's he said some old comrades. Some of these scenes remind me exactly of Call of Duty 4. But like a mix of two? I mean, uh, Modern Warfare 2? I like the beat with the gun, the gunshots. Such a cool scene. I'm gonna have to look up stuff about this. I'm so confused. Are they rebooting it? Rebooting 4? Redoing Call of Duty from Modern Warfare? The engine looks fine. Looks slightly better, maybe. We get dirty. This scene looks just like four. I swear. I'm gonna have to look some stuff up. I'm gonna have to look some stuff up. That's the mission. October 25th. So we're getting another Call of Duty uh, in the the fall. So. Who's your team? Got some old comrades. Some old comrades, so Price is back. So that means like the whole crew is back? So it's a reboot. I gotta look it up. Okay guys, I'm back. I looked through the entire uh, Call of Duty website and some news on the game. What's to come. Uh, so I'm kind of behind on everything. But pretty much what I got right here is what you can get with the Operator Edition, just an extra edition. You get like uh, 
more operators, crew expendable pack, all gillied up pack, and war pig pack. I, you probably get these weapons in these dudes. Um, I'm guessing, you know, we still have like the characters that you use within multiplayer games. Uh, and custom in-game tactical knife, this looks like garbage. A lot of this stuff I don't really care about. Prestige token is nice, but it's in Black Ops 4. So it's kind of like, maybe if you, you know, give me a free prestige token going into Modern Warfare 4, so when I prestige, uh, I can get two things on my first prestige, that'd be pretty awesome. Maybe some, some incentive to, you know, make me actually want to go get this initially. But pretty much, um, I wrote down a few things that I learned about the game that's pretty awesome. First of all, this Call of Duty is not Call of Duty 4. It is kind of like a reboot, but the words they used was like reimagining. So pretty much, I'm 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 guessing they just didn't know what to do with Call of Duty after what happened in 3 and going onwards and Infinity War that they just decided, you know, we're going to go back to boots on the ground cuz they want to keep that uh boots on the ground, but they want to keep make Call of Duty more realistic. And they wanted to redo the the story paths of what they already did on Call of Duty 4. So it's probably going to be a fusion of Call of Duty 4 and Call of Duty uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare and Call of Duty 2, Modern Warfare 2. Um, combine those types of storylines and the things that they really liked and go forward from there. Probably not do too much crazy stuff. Um, I think I did see like the Russians and Middle East being involved again. And then like some type of like uh, insurgent group. Uh, I don't know what city they were in, but like some type of uh, riot type uh, behavior. So that's going to be some missions too. So it, it seems like a mixture of, in my opinion, Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2. Um, what else? Captain Price is back. Uh, I caught that and I was very confused because I was like, I don't even know what they're doing with Call of Duty anymore. Uh, but definitely a reboot, uh, which means probably a lot of the characters that we know and love are definitely going to be back. Uh, the biggest, the biggest reveal that I saw on the uh, online, after doing quick research, was that this game is going to be cross-play with Xbox, PC, and PlayStation 4. That is ridiculous. I don't know how they're going to do the lobbies at all because PC people are going to be dominating, I feel like. But it's going to be really cool. Um, I'm finally glad a game like Call of Duty should have been had this a long time ago. And, you know, this is just going to be great for Call of Duty. And now more people can actually enjoy playing Call of Duty. More people will play together. More friends can play together. Just the best thing for everything. No season pass. Quick one on you. No season pass this time. All DLC content is going to be free after release. Except the fact that DLC will arrive first on PlayStation 4. So they still have that little deal going on. Um, well, you're just gonna have to wait like a week or so on uh, everything else. You know, it kind of sucks because there's still like exclusivity, I guess. I don't know why, um, especially when you're gonna have the game be on all platforms. Um, I don't know how much money Sony pays them to do that, but hey. And pretty much, we're gonna get more details on exactly the multiplayer and, and that extra co op game mode on e at E3, uh, which is around June. 11th so it's probably like june 11th june 12th june 13th 14th i can't remember how long e3 is but we're gonna get more details on that but the campaign is supposed to be realistic i don't know how realistic call of duty gets anymore but with a reboot at least we can expect something different the graphics do look way better well not way better they look better but realistically you got to see how the game pay gameplay plays out to think if it's more realistic or not and call of duty has not really been a realistic game when you think about it over the past 10 however many years i think it's been like 12 years honestly but um we'll see this realistic campaign hopefully they'll, they'll play like one campaign mission uh we'll see if blackout returns i probably would expect it to just because battle royales are still hot but based on what i saw the co-op squad type gameplay in my opinion, I think it's they're going to do some type of, like, um, uh, thing like they do in, uh, Siege. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but, like, th that type of thing, but, I don't know. I, I feel like Blackout has to return in some type of form. Uh, I'm, I, I don't know. I really want to wait till E3 to make my honest opinion, but right now I'm, like, in an okay place. Um, Reboot is fine with me, but it's kind of weird bringing back old characters that we already know because it's kind of like they feel like they messed up the first time and now they're going back to correct it in my opinion uh i'm ex i'm excited uh i'll definitely watch the call of duty uh e3 press conference to see exactly what's going on 
Uh, but thank you all so much for watching this video. Uh, like and subscribe and comment down below what you think about this new Call of Duty Modern Warfare trailer. And I'll see you all next time.